Welcome back everyone, Triple M here, and what you're looking at is not the Nvidia Shield, it's not the Mi Box, this is my Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. Now, decided to do this video because, yes, we've been waiting on the new update to be pushed to the 4K, and figured since we're waiting for that update to be pushed, might as well uh, check out some alternatives, just to see if something like this might be worth a second look. So, this video, we're going to do a quick run through of the Lean Back Launcher on your Amazon Fire TV Stick. This will work for your Amazon Fire TV, Fire TV Stick 4K, as well as your Fire TV Cube. I'm going to go through the different options, the settings. Also, we'll be showing you guys how to install it. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. Before we jump into the, the overview, shout out to all the developers, shout out to Tech Doctor UK. Uh, he had a lot to do with uh, just making sure that this launcher stays on your device so i'll show you guys how to make this permanent here in a little bit but let's do a quick walkthrough so this is the fresh install guys i haven't done any changes i haven't made any modifications this is what it looks like when you're done with the initial installation now keep in mind that this might vary based on how many or which applications you have on your device but up top you're going to see all your applications so if i scroll to the right you can see it goes all the way through if you do a long press you do have the option to uninstall it and you have the option to move it around on the settings, which I think is a nice addition. Click done when you're all done with that part. Now below is gonna have your videos, gonna have your music, but if you go to your launcher settings, you have a lot more customization available to you. So recommendation row, you can see zero sources are hidden. Click on it. It's gonna tell you that selected sources may display recommendations on the home screen. To hide these, turn off recommendations from specific sources. The next option is gonna be to edit your app role. So if you click on that, you can edit your apps and games roles. So you can essentially customize the orders. You can do by Regency, which means apps and games orders are based on uh, recent usage, or you can customize order, which means basically orders the apps and games to your liking. And below that, you have the option to edit your roles. So recommendations, favorites, you can turn those on and off. You can also select your max roles. So what that means is that you notice that under your apps, you have two roles right here. So you can make Make it one row you can make it three rows you make it four rows so you do have that option to kind of just tweak the settings just to see what works best for you i know for the nvidia shield that row i believe is just one so on the apps you can see the max rows it's set to two let's go ahead and we'll just clear that and we'll just set it to one we'll hit next and we'll just go home all right, so notice that now the apps are in one single row and that's what we've noticed from the Nvidia Shield. So that's a much cleaner look in my opinion. Let me go back. One thing that I noticed is that the hidden applications, uh, that menu is not working. I uh, should essentially populate the apps right there and give you the option to hide them, but that's not working. So that's something I'll continue to look into. But besides that guys, the, the launcher looks good. It's very functional. Let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go to our app store. All right, so it does bring you into there, which is good. What is the temperature like in Washington, DC? All right, so that actually worked as well. The search button up top brings you to, uh, looks like Firefox or whatever your browser is. So uh, that just brings you to the search. The actual mic is just the uh, icon, so it doesn't really work that way. But besides that, the UI is simplified. It looks good, very responsive. And I think uh, if you're you're over the old Fire TV or Fire Stick interface, this is a great option to at least try out until the new update is pushed. So as far as the installation, the installation is going to be straightforward. Uh, you will need to go to your settings. You're going to go to My Fire TV developer options both of these need to be turned on guys apps from unknown sources as well as adb debugging that is required in order to change the look of your fire tv so by default these are going to be turned off if you haven't installed third-party apps before just make sure those are turned on now once it's turned on we need to download the downloader application from your amazon app store so just um search downloader and there it is right there guys big orange icon Cannot miss it. So make sure that's downloaded, installed. Go ahead and launch it when you're done. And now we're just going to put in this URL. And this is going to be direct download to filing. So 
All right, so there's the URL, get.filelink.com. Go ahead and hit go. All right, and it is a direct download, so go through, install it, and you're all set. Now, once you install it, just go ahead and delete it. You do not need the APK anymore. So once you have file link downloaded, guys, uh, we're gonna go in and we need to download two files. So go ahead and launch file link and you're gonna put in my store code. It is displayed right here, but you will need to enter it manually. So you're gonna put in 162481341. Once you're done, click continue. I'm gonna dismiss that. But we're going to have the two files that are going to be towards the top, uh, depending when you watch this video. I do tend to move the, the applications down as I put them in, but for the most part, you'll see the lean back launcher and you'll see the launcher manager. Both are very important. The launcher, of course, is going to change the looks and the manager is going to allow you to essentially set which default launcher you want to have on your Fire Stick. That way it won't switch back to the default by its own. So go ahead and download both of them and the icons should look like this. So you're going to have the manager and you're going to have the lean back launcher. So from here, guys, you can go ahead and launch the launcher itself and it's going to bring you to the, the interface It's going to look like this. However, when you hit the home button, it's going to go back to the default fire stick. So that's where the manager comes in hand. So let's go ahead and we're going to go to the manager. And again, big shout out to Tech Doctor UK, putting out good content, always tinkering, see what's going on on these devices. Uh, definitely check out his YouTube if you haven't done so already. The two options that we need to work with are enable stock launcher disable stock launcher that's basically it so right now we want to disable the the default launcher so just disable it and during this if you see a pop-up asking you need to turn on adb debugging you might need to do that then and there might be another option or checkbox we need to allow access just go ahead and do that or else this will work properly so once you have it disabled you hit the home button so i can go to anything i want to essentially so if i go to youtube and now when I hit the home button, it goes back to the new launcher that we just installed. So like I said, this is a quick run through. Uh, this is uh, just a, a nice look for the Amazon Fire Stick, in my opinion. Uh, there are some bugs that needs to be worked out, but I'll keep thinking to see if I can figure out why the option to turn off apps aren't working properly. If you guys have any questions, comments on this, drop it in the comments. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.